This is the Flywoo Sim Race 20. I know it's quite late because this has been released for quite some while, but I'm still going to show you how to bind it with your ELR's radio. Let's go. Before we begin, I have been saying this for many, many times, but I'm still going to say it again, is your ELR's firmware on your RX and your TX has to match, which means it has to be both on 2.x or both on 3.x. If one is on 2.x and one is on 3.x, they are not going to bind together. So my TX16 right now has ELR's firmware 3.x and my quad has 2.x. So I will have to flash my quad to 3.x or I have to downgrade my TX16S back to 2.x. I'm just going to flash this. Okay, so once you're able to confirm that both firmware matches, you will have two options to bind them. One is called the plug-in three times method. Basically, you plug in your LiPo three times to the quad and the receiver is going to be forced into binding mode and you should be able to hit bind on your radio and they will just bind together. But the second better method is to use a binding phrase. It's strongly suggest to use that as it makes binding much, much easier. In this tutorial, we will be using binding phrase as my main method. Once we get these all out of the way, we have to identify which type of receiver that we are working with. And for this Flywoo Sin Race, we can see that there is a receiver chip sticking out. So this is going to be a serial based ELRS receiver. And we will be flashing the ELRS firmware to 3.x using Wi Fi. So let's just go in and we're going to plug in the quad to the computer so we can first see what our target is. Okay, for this particular quad, all you need to do is plug in a USB cable and the receiver should be powered on as you can see right here. So right now you can see that it's flashing slowly. And what we have to do right now is wait until this goes into like a rapid quick flashing and that's an indication that it's going to Wi-Fi mode. Okay, let's just going to wait for it. All right, you can see that this is in Wi-Fi mode. Let's go to a computer. Okay, so you are going to go to your Wi-Fi and you are going to wait until the target pops out. Okay, here we go. This is the Express LS RX we want. And if you've been asked for any password, the password is Express LRS all over case. And you can see that a screen is going to, a separate web page is going to pop up and you're going to remember that this is going to be our target. Okay. Now we can unplug the drone and we are going to go to the Express OS firmware to flash, uh, to build a firmware so we can start flashing it on this website. Okay, so now we are at our Express OS configurator and you are going to, we're just going to pick the most recent release and the device is going to be DIY 2.4 gigahertz and the firmware version is going to be DIY 24000 RX ESP 8285. And we are going to flash via Wi-Fi, so select Wi-Fi. And remember, we're going to set up a binding phrase, right? So this is where you set up your binding phrase. So it's going to be 654321. That's my binding phrase. What You can set up whatever you like. And you're just going to hit build. Okay, so once the firmware has been built, you are going to use the one that says DIY. You're not going to use the firmware one. And you are going to save it to somewhere you can find it. We're just going to save it at downloads since that's where I find most of my stuff. Okay, next you are going to plug in your quad again and make sure it goes to Wi-Fi mode and you are going to go to the same web page, same as before. I'm just gonna leave it. All right, same drill, you're gonna to connect to your Wi-Fi and the new page, web page is going to pop out. Okay, connection interrupted, refresh it again. Okay, here we go. And you're gonna come down to firmware updates and you're gonna choose file. And you're going to go to download whatever you save your file and you're going to open it and you're just going to hit update. Okay, update successful. So right now it's at ELRS 3.x version. And since we already set up a binding phrase, as soon as we open our radio and power a quad, they should automatically bind together. Let's just go give it a try. Okay, to test it, we are just going to plug in. You're going to unplug it and plug it back again so it resets. And you're going to plug it into your you're going to plug it in with a USB cable again and if necessary you might have to plug in a LiPo for the receiver to work. Okay let's just go into beta flight as well so we can know what's going on and let's just go to the receiver tab and you can see when I'm moving the throttle whatsoever everything is moving so which means this is a successful bind. 
All right, so back to the bench, and this is how simple it is to bind your ELRS receiver with your radio. And yeah, if you have additional questions, let me know, and enjoy some flight footage of this thing. Thank you.